Um, hi, everyone. This is Zhi Jiang Guo from Singapore University of Technology and Design. Today, I'm going to present a paper titled Attention Guided Graph Convolutional Networks for Relation Extraction. This is a joint work with Yan Zhang and Wei Lu. Um, in this work, we mainly focus on two types of relation extraction tasks. The first type is sentence level relation extraction, and the second type is cross sentence and array relation extraction. For the first type, the input consists of one sentence together with two given entities. Here, the first entity is Jack, and the second entity is Chairman. We want to predict the relation between these two entities. Here, for the example here, the relation is person title, which means Jack is a person and his title is Chairman. For the cross-sentence and array relation extraction, the input consists of multiple sentences together with n given entities. n can be larger than two, so the number of n here is three. Um, as highlighted here, the first entity refers to a certain gene, and the second entity refers to the mutation point. The third entity refers to a certain drug. As, as the last sentence stated, all patients were treated with this drug and show a partial response, which indicates a sensitivity relation among these three entities. Current neural approaches can be roughly categorized into two types, sequence-based model and dependency-based model. For sequence-based model, it operates directly on the given text sequence. Different neural networks, including CNN or INN, is used to get the representation of the corresponding entities for later classification. For the second dependency-based model, it incorporates the dependency tree directly into the model. Different structural encoders, including graph, LCM, GCN, and GIN, is used to get the representation of the dependency tree. In order to further improve the performance of dependency-based model, various pruning strategies are proposed to remove irrelevant information from the tree while keeping relevant content. Here, we mainly focus on three different types of pruning methods and their corresponding encoders. In order to better illustrate the differences between these three methods, we use an example dependency graph corresponds to an instance we mentioned in the cross-sentence relation extraction task. So for the first approach, they only consider tokens on the shortest dependency path among these entities. So as highlighted here, these tokens are treated as a sequence and then will be fitted into INN or CNN to get the corresponding representation. For the second approach, they prune the full dependency tree into a subtree. The subtree is below the lowest common ancestor of these three entities. So here in this example, the LCA is the token present. Then we feed this subtree into the structural encoder, GLSTM. The current state of our system argues that previous pruning methods are too aggressive. They might exclude some relevant information. Therefore, they also include tokens that are distance k away from the LCA subtree. So k is a hyperparameter here. When k equals to zero, the prune tree is basically the LCA subtree. When k increases, the prune tree grows. In this figure, the dotted line indicates the tokens k equals one away from the LCA subtree. However, we can see that the relevant information partial response is still not on the prune tree. When k equals to two, the, the key token response is included in the prune tree. For this rule-based pruning method, a proper k value is required to maintain a good balance between keeping and removing information from the dependency tree. So here we summarize these three different pruning methods and their corresponding encoders. The motivation of our work is to find a way to learn the pruning method in an end-to-end -end fashion rather than using a, a rule-based one and without additional computational overhead. Therefore, we propose our model, Attention Guided Graph Convolutional Networks, AGGCNS in short. Our model consists of M identical blocks. Each block has three types of layers, Attention Guided Layer, 
dense layer, connector layer, and linear combination layer. I will start with the attention guided layer. For vanilla GCN input, the adjacency, the input is simply the adjacency matrix which represents the input graph. For simplicity, um, we omit the self loop and direction of edges here. So we can see in the adjacency matrix, uh, the value in the matrix is either one or zero. Value one indicates there are edges between two, two corresponding nodes. If the value is zero, which means that there is no edge between two nodes. Actually, current rule-based pruning methods can be viewed as a certain type of hard, atten hard attention mechanism. Assume node V1 is not on the shortest dependency path, and edges connected to node V1 will be removed. As a result, the corresponding positions in the adjacency matrix will be set to zero, which means that you either attend to this node, the value is one, or not attend to this node, the value is zero. So some potential useful information related to node one will be excluded during this process. Instead of using a binary adjacency matrix, we want to develop a soft pruning strategy, which learns to assign different ways to different edges. Um, assume node V1 is less important for later relation classification task, then the, uh, the weight on the edges connected to node V1 will have lower value. As we can see in the uh, adjacency matrix, these ways indicate the importance of edges in the original input graph. We further construct a fully connected weighted graph for better information propagation in graph neural network framework. As we can see here, node V1 and node V4, they are multi-hop away. By connecting them using edges directly, we can induce the relation between them. And uh, this relation is represented as weight in the adjacency matrix. Actually, there are many ways to construct this fully connected weighted graph. Here we simply use multi-head attention mechanism. And actually, it's a hyperparameter. And it's also the number of heads in the attention mechanism. After we get this N different fully connected weighted graph, we will feed it to the next layer, which is the densely connected graph convolutional layer. Um, in this layer, we simply leverage the recently proposed densely connected graph convolutional layer, which is able to better capture rich and local information on large graph. Um, this actually is another work from our group and will be presented the day after tomorrow. And finally, a linear combination layer is applied to integrate resulting representations from n different densely connected layers into one representation for later relation classification. We evaluate our model on two different relation extraction tasks and three data set. For cross-sentence and narrow relation extraction task, we use PubMed data set. For PubMed data set, it has two types of classification settings. For the first multi-class setting, it has five different relation labels. While for the binary class setting, it simply binarizes these five different relations labels into two labels, yes and no. The PubMed data set also has two subdata set, ternary and binary data set. For ternary data set, three entities are given for each relation, while for a binary data set, the number is two. We'll first look at the results on binary class settings. We compare our model with different baselines. Baselines include structural encoders with full tree and prune tree as input. According to the table here, GCN with prune tree as input tend to achieve higher accuracy on both ternary and binary data set. However, um, it is hard to find an optimum K which should enable the GCM model to achieve highest accuracy on both ternary and binary data set. As we can see here, GCNs with prune tree when K equals to zero as input achieve higher accuracy on ternary data set while GCN with prune tree when K equals to two achieve higher accuracy 
on binary data set, it is hard to find a key to maintain a good balance between removing and keeping information from the dependency tree. However, our proposed model, AGGCN, is able to achieve higher accuracy on both ternary and binary data set. We believe the reason is that AGGCN is able to learn how to automatically select information and discard information from the dependency tree. For the much harder multi-class settings, we have similar observations. Sometimes you may need a full tree as input to keep more information for relation extraction. Sometimes you, you, you will need the prune tree which remove irrelevant information for classification. As we can see here, GCN with full tree as input achieve higher accuracy on binary data set, while GCN with prune tree achieve higher accuracy on ternary data set. Our proposed model is also able to achieve um, high accuracy on both data sets. We then evaluate our model on the second task sentence level relation instruction task and two different data set, TAC relation instruction data set and semi level 10 task A data set. For the TAC relation extraction data set, we compare our model with current sequence-based and dependency-based models. Our proposed model is also able to achieve new state-of-the-art result in terms of F1 score and recall on this sentence-level relation instruction task, which confirms the effectiveness of this solved pooling strategy. It is also beneficial to sentence-level input on the relatively smaller data set, same evil data set, our proposed model is also able to achieve the highest F1 score, which shows the robustness of our proposed model. Um, we further examined contributions of different components in the proposed model. According to the table here, the attention guided layer, which corresponds to the soft pooling strategy, play a significant role in the proposed model. We also report the re results on different chaining data sizes. As shown in the figure, our proposed model consistently outperformed the current state of our system under the same amount of chaining data. Specifically, our proposed model chain on 80% of the training data is able to outperform the GCM model chain on the complete data set. To conclude, the main contribution of our work is that we propose a novel GCM model that is able to learn a solve pooling strategy for better relation extraction. For future work, we would like to explore the connections between the proposed model with other neural models for modeling global structural information. And our code is available on this website, stat NLP Research IE. Thank you, that's all I got.